Hey guys, and welcome back to our Java OpenGL two-dimensional game tutorial series. Um, in this video, I'd like to show you just a little bit of the basic OpenGL uh, functionality that you can that you will have in an OpenGL program. First off, a little bit of explanation. Basically, OpenGL works by taking vectors, uh, which are points in three-dimensional space or two-dimensional space. Um, in this case, uh, and renders them based on their relationship to each other. For example, if you have three points and you tell it that these three points make up a triangle, it will draw the it will render something to the space in between them, indicating this is a triangle. Uh, if you have quads, for example, that's four vertices making up a square, um, and it will render a square there based on these four points that you give it. And you can set color and you can add textures uh, to them, which are basically images and you can do all kinds of stuff with it, um, but that's really the basics of it. Now, I want to show you how you go about getting OpenGL functionality from this point in our program. You remember that this display method in our event listener uh, file is called... Um, it was GL2. So, GL2, we'll call it GL, equals drawable, which as you remember was this drawable, uh, which is a GL auto drawable, drawable dot get gl dot get gl2 and import and we get this gl2 gl equals drawable dot get gl dot get gl2 now we can start doing OpenGL functions if you are at all familiar with OpenGL in C++ uh, you probably know that you do just uh, call gl OpenGL functions by saying things like uh, gl begin um, you know, gl dot gl quads, things like that. Uh, here it's very similar, except we have to say gl dot whatever function it is we want to use, because that's the way Java works. Uh, you know, methods are, uh, methods belong to objects and that sort of thing. Here, gl, I mean, not that they don't in C++ either, I'm just saying this is the way we're doing it. I probably It's probably more complicated than it needs to be, I'll just say gl dot gl clear color what this method does is it takes four floats that define the red green blue and alpha values of the color that we want to use when we clear the screen which should happen at the beginning of every frame we clear the screen of what was on it before so we can draw on it again here let's set that to a solid black color 0001 like so so that's an example of an OpenGL function. It's gl dot gl. They all begin with gl, as far as I know, or virtually all begin with gl. But it's gl dot gl clear color, in this case. Um, and then let's clear the screen. gl dot gl clear. Now we want to. We take a parameter that that is basically what it is that we want to clear. We want to clear the color of the screen. gl two dot gl clear, no, sorry, gl color buffer bit. So we set the color we want to clear it to, then we clear the color buffer of the screen, and we should get a black window now, or our window should pop up and every frame be cleared to a solid black color. And it is. So let's uh, show what you can do with this. If I set this to 1, we should get full red color because zero, you know, it's a range from zero to one. One should be solid red. And see, now you can mix colors. If I add blue to that, uh, let's see, if it's red, green, blue, I'll add full blue, we should get purple. Or it might come out magenta here. Yep, it's magenta. If I added half of each one, for example, 0.5f, 0.5f, the f indicates it's a float for those of you who don't know we should get purple. And see? So that's how that works. We want it to be a solid black color. So zero, 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 one for our clear color. Also, we can take this out, since it's always the same clear color, we can take it out and put it in the init method, although we get an error because we don't have the GL object. So I'm going to copy that line from here to here. 
and we get gl.gl clear color 0001 and it stays the same from now on uh, because we never change we never set this we never call this function again so we should still clear to a solid black color just as before there we go now I'm going to show you a bit of basic functionality real quick I won't go into depth to explain it I'm just going to say after I mean I will explain it a little bit but I want the reason I'm doing this is it's very useful to play around and fool around and try and figure out how things work in OpenGL uh, before trying to write something in it because you really get a you really get a feel for how everything works. Take for example this. Um, notice we used a static integer to define what it is that we want to clear here. Well, you'll find yourself doing that a lot in uh, our program, and I'll show you what I mean. We want to draw a quad onto the screen. A quad is four vertices uh, forming a you know, a, a quad, a four-pointed shape, basically. And so here, to do that, we say gl dot, and this is the old-fashioned way to do it, gl begin, it takes a static integer that is what, um, what we want to start making. gl2 dot, I'm sorry, gl2 dot gl quads. We're telling it we want to start making quads. Now it knows what to do with the vertices we're about to give it. And we're going to put the vertices here, and afterwards we need to say gl dot gl end, so that we get to tell it we're, we're done making uh, this quad now, or we're done making quads. And so in here I'm going to put some vertices. This is how you do that: gl dot gl vertex three no two f because it's only two dimensional, so we only need two coordinates x and y. X is horizontal, and y is vertical. So I'm going to say negative 0.5f, negative 0.5f. And I'm going to basically say uh, the next one is going to be positive 0.5f, negative uh, 0.5f, then positive and positive, then negative and positive, in that order. Also, before we do this, I'm going to set the color of what we're drawing with gl dot gl color 3f difference between uh, the way we're doing this uh, three do, color 3f is takes rgb color 4f takes uh, rgb and alpha much like the clear color thing down here so let's say we want to draw it blue so rgb will uh, we'll do full blue color it should draw the quads so every frame it should clear the screen to our solid black color, set the color to blue, and then draw a blue quad. And it does. And that's basically, that's some basic functionality there. Now, I'll deal with more things like, you know, how to properly set our coordinate space so that we get, so that we can draw a square, because really this would be square if we had set our coordinates to make any sense at all. Um, I will go into that sort of thing in the future. Basically, I just wanted to show you a very simple example of a complete, you know, rendering something to the screen using Joggle uh, example. That's just what I want to show you here. You see how simple this really is. It's re it's really simple, and OpenGL is really powerful because it excels at drawing graphics to the screen lightning fast. Um, and as you can see, it's really quite simple. We just told it to clear the screen to this, or set the clear color, clear the screen. Set our drawing color, draw uh, quads with these four vertices, and end, and that's really all there is to it. So, this was just a little quick example to help you get a feel for how OpenGL works. Um, notice we've got, notice how the structure of the program is and everything. So, um, I want to thank you very much for watching this video and subscribing to my channel and watching all my other videos. Um, I want to thank you a lot, um, and um, if you like the video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Alright, bye.